Okay, boys and girls, today we are going to estimate and measure liquid volume in liters. Now, because we are working with water and stuff and we're going to need to be by the sink, I'm not going to be able to probably play the video exactly like um, what we would do usually. Because I'm going to have to go over there and show you stuff and come back. So, those people who are maybe needing to watch this in the future, um, this is a little harder to, sh this lesson is a little harder to be on the video. So, there may not be as much on the video as what we need. Um, but let's go ahead and read the top part of our problem. Liquid volume is the amount of liquid in a container. The liter is hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not a litter. The liter is the basic metric unit for measuring liquid volume. Okay, usually when you see in like a pop, when you go and buy pops, you will see that they are so many liters on the outside container. Okay, if you buy a big pop, usually those are two liters. Okay. So today we're going to measure with liters in measuring things, okay? So I have a liter beaker, it's going to look like this, which it shows you right here in your picture, okay? And then I have four containers, and uh, it says water and tape, which most of the things are already taped, but um, we'll put tape on the base since that is new. Um, and we're going to fill each of these uh, to the liter mark so we can see how much water a liter is, what kind of, how containers can show liters being more or less, okay? So, <coughs> we're going to go ahead, um, let's go ahead and write our containers on here. So, on container one, guys, I am going to have you write milk jug. We're going to pretend that big one is a milk jug. So on container one, right milk jug on the line. Okay, milk jug. On container two, we're going to call that a serving dish. Yeah, like what you would put, like a salad in or something? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Number three, we're going to call a dog bowl. And number four, we're going to call a vase. Um, we are not, you do not have to be an artist, okay? But we do want to show size, okay? And if you look at our milk jug thing, it's big, right? It's yes. the biggest one we have. So we want the milk jug to be very big. Now you can look up here to see how I'm drawing this, okay? I'm just going to kind of make a top for the top rim. And then I'm going to go out and down. Oh, that's kind of fat, really fat. Out and down. Yeah, that's not showing that it's very big. Okay. Okay, there's my milk jug. All right. Now, then we're going to do our serving dish. And our serving dish needs to be shorter and smaller because it is it's shorter and smaller than the other one, okay? So we're going to make it a little bit shorter, like half the size of the milk jug. And all I did was make an oval and then make like a square on the bottom of it, okay? And then we have our dog bowl, which needs to be even shorter than our serving dish. So we're going to make the dog bowl real small, okay? And then we have our vase, 
which is a little bit tall, not quite as big as our uh, milk jug. But we're going to make the neck go in because it did, and then go out like that. Okay. Okay, so we did the milk jug, and the milk jug only filled up about this much of the milk jug. One liter only filled up this much of the milk jug. The serving dish is probably a little over half of water. It filled up that much. The dog bowl could not even hold a whole liter. It filled all the way to the top. And the vase filled up almost to the neck with water. Okay, number one. How much water did we pour into each container? A liter. One liter. One liter. So write that down. Now, guys, when you write liter, do you see how when they put but beside liter they put a big L? Yes. That's the abbreviation for liter. So you can just put a big L. You don't have to write the whole word unless you want to. Okay? You have to write in cursive. Okay, cat cursive letter L, yes. Okay, then number two says, which containers are mostly full? Which containers are mostly full? Savannah, what's one of them? The dog bowl. The dog bowl? <laughs> now, we have to describe the dog bowl. The dog bowl is what shit, like, it's what? It's just... Well, how would you describe it? It would overflow. With but but describe the bowl. Like describe what it looks like. Oh, Small and skinny. Oh, short, short and, and fat. fat. It's and not round. skinny. It's fat. Okay, short and fat. Okay, so we're gonna put dog bowl, and then we're gonna write short and fat. And was there another one that was mostly full that you would say? Yeah. Um, Eli? Um, the serving dish. Okay, we could we could kind of say the serving dishes. Um, we can just call it a dish since we already have everything else. You know, it's the serving dish. The dish. Okay, and how would you describe it? Aubrey? Um, fat and big. Okay. We're gonna, I would say fat and medium it's still kind of short. Medium short? Okay. Fat and medium short. Middle. I'm gonna say middle short. Is it half short? Two. Okay. Okay, now um, we did discuss, we said the vase is actually kind of almost full too, so we're going to write vase on number two. Now I know we don't have a lot of room, so we're just going to try to make a line and you write vase. And how would you describe the vase? Skinny and tall. Skinny and tall. We need to write on number three, which containers are mostly empty? We only have one that's mostly empty. What's mostly empty? Milk jug. Okay, the milk jug, right? Milk jug. And how would you describe it? It's like tall and fat. Tall and fat, okay. All right, when you have that, turn it to the next page. Does anybody need me to stay on this one? Can I go to the next one? No. Okay. Okay, we have five, well, four new containers. We have a cup, 
a cylinder um, speaker thing. The milk jug we kept. We got a new serving dish that's a little smaller, or a new leftovers dish. And then a water bottle. And we are supposed to put these from least to greatest. So I'm going to put mine from least to greatest for what I think. to estimate how much we think we're just going to hold. So now we need to go to cup, right? Cup down here. Do you think it's going to hold more than one liter, about one liter, or less than one liter? Less, less than. than. Okay, let's write less than. One liter, less than one liter, one L. Okay, when you've got that, we're going to do the cylinder. Do you think the cylinder will hold more than one liter, less than one liter, or the same as one liter? Same. Less. You guys, it's an estimate, so you can choose. Oh. It's not going to be wrong or right. You're estimating. You do not have to write the same thing as me. Okay, milk jug. You guys should already know this one. What do you think it will be? More than, less than, or equal than? More. And then we have the leftovers dish. And what do you think it will hold? <laughs> and the water bottle. What do you think it will hold? Okay, I'm going to write on here um, the numbers that we got. The cup was 300 milliliters, not even a liter. The cylinder was 400 milliliters, not even a liter, so not even whole liter. The milk jug, however, was four liters, four whole liters, plus another, what do we say? Uh, 350 liters, or milliliters. And the leftover dish had one liter and 100 milliliters. And the water bottle held 975 milliliters. Now you have to write them in order from least to greatest. So on number 11, if you put container A and container B, what do you, how do you think it should look? Um, almost all of this. Okay. What do you think? Oh, it's going to say four, four, or maybe Okay, look at container A. It's kind of small, right? Yeah. And a little skinnier. Yeah. Container B is a lot fatter, isn't it? Yeah. But it's shorter. Yeah. Okay, do you think that container A would fit into container B, all of container A? No. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.